Hell of a hell of a she's so fine. Hell of a hell of a blows my mind. Hell of a hell of a lights my day. What's good, guys? I wanted to bring this story, um, supposedly breaking news, about 20 minutes ago. Uh, for those that are not on the same planet as me, that is Breonna Taylor on the left and Attorney General Daniel Cameron on the right. Breonna Taylor case. Breaking news. Grand juror wants to speak out. Blast the Attorney General Cameron files motion in court. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron has at least one pissed off grand juror on his hands in the Breonna Taylor case, and that person is demanding the right to talk about the proceedings. The anonymous grand juror filed a motion Monday with the Jefferson County Circuit Court asking a judge to lift the gag order for any grand jurors who want to go public because this juror feels like Cameron hung them out to dry when he announced the indictment of ex cop Brett Hankison. And he did. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, the grand juror says Cameron repeatedly told the media, quote, the grand jury alone made the decision on who and what to charge based solely on the evidence presented to them, end quote, and hogwash. As you know, Hankison and the two other cops involved were not charged with shooting and killing Brianna. Instead, Hankison was the only indicted for firing his weapon into an apartment neighboring Brianna's. That decision has sparked days of protest across the country, and it's clear this grand juror feels Cameron is ducking his responsibility, as he is. As he or she says in the docs, quote, it is patently unjust for the jurors to be subjected to the level of accountability the Attorney General, the Attorney General campaigned for simply because they received a summons to serve their community, end quote. Translation, you ran for this office, Daniel Cameron, so you should feel the heat. Although the grand juror was not specific, it sure appears they have some gripes over the way the proceedings went down. It would be really interesting to know if the grand jury heard from all 12 apartment residents who said the police did not identify themselves before breaking down to Brianna's door. If the grand jury didn't hear from them, it would be interesting to know if that information would have prompted this grand juror to vote to indict the cops who shot Brianna. Grand jury proceedings are always kept under wraps, so this juror's request is highly unusual. But, as they say in the docs, quote, using the grand jurors as a shield to deflect accountability and responsibility for these decisions only sows more seeds of doubt in the process, while leaving a cold shield on the spines of future grand jurors, end quote. In addition to the right to speak publicly, the juror is also asking the judge to release the transcript of the proceedings. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't see it happening. But just the mere fact that they want to do that tells you right there what information the grand jury was privy to. And I'm going to leave this one alone for tonight because it's got me wound up. You guys have a good night.